Hi, this is Clay from Conferences.io. I'm going to give you a basic tutorial on how audience polling will work from within PowerPoint. This tutorial assumes that either someone else has taken care of modifying your PowerPoint slide deck by adding the live result slides into your presentation, or that you have taken care of that step. So this demo will focus on what you as a speaker or presenter need to be aware of when giving your presentation to a live audience. On my screen, I have a sample PowerPoint slide deck on the left side, and on the right, I have a simulation for the attendee experience. You'll notice that in my smartphone simulator, it shows the note, polls have been created, but none are currently unlocked. This helps the audience know that there will be some questions to come. With the functionality of Conferences I.O., your poll questions will be automatically pushed to the attendee's mobile device when you advance your PowerPoint slide to a poll question. Before we see that in action, let's take a closer look at my sample PowerPoint deck. First, I'd like to point out one of my earliest slides. It's a good idea to have helpful instructions for the audience. We recommend providing both visual and verbal instructions to your attendees regarding polling. The coordinators for your event can help guide you with the specifics on this, but again, we want to emphasize the importance of letting your audience know how to participate. We should include that verbal call to action. Doing so will have a significant impact on your success. In my example slide, it includes announcement text that can be spoken as a template. Next, notice that I have a slide with a written version of my poll question. We recommend having one of these in your deck. That slide is followed by the special slide that does the magic of presenting the live poll results when we run this in slideshow mode. In the notes field, there's a special tag code. It's important that this be kept intact. Don't remove it. Let's take a look at the end result when we run this. I'll start the slideshow from the agenda slide. As a presenter, you'll probably have a setup on stage that features the PowerPoint presenter view, in which case the laptop screen will typically have your current slide, plus your speaker notes and a heads up as to your next slide. Using the mouse or a clicker, if one has been supplied to you, you'll talk through and advance slides like usual. For the rest of my demo, I want to be able to show you my smartphone simulator. So just assume this smaller window is that nice PowerPoint presenter view that you'll typically see when you're up on stage. When you arrive to your poll setup slide, this is your cue to tell the audience to ready their mobile device to respond. When you feel like folks are ready, click to advance to the next slide. The results will update on the screen in real time as they come in. After you give the audience a little time to respond, you can share your thoughts about the results and then click to move on when you're ready. Let's do that again with another poll question. We'll arrive at a poll question reminder slide, which helps to remind you to instruct the audience to get ready. It can also be helpful to read the question aloud. After doing so, simply click to advance to the live results slide, which then pushes the poll question to the audience's mobile device for their response. After a short time, you can highlight any meaningful results that are displayed. Pretty easy, right? Well, here's one last sample that features a nifty countdown timer, an option that's available when doing a live poll. With this setup, the audience has a limited amount of time to respond, but this can help to keep things moving along. If you're interested in this countdown timer option, be sure to chat with your event coordinator. Well, that's all there is to it. This polling functionality can really help to keep your audience engaged and focused. Thank you for watching. This has been a brief tutorial on the conference's I.O. live polling from within PowerPoint.